It's unprecedented. Today, Durham-based Wolfspeed announced a huge investment in North Carolina to make semiconductors. It comes with a new state-of-the-art facility on 445 acres in Chatham County and the creation of 1,800 good-paying jobs. Only on WRAL, I spoke with Wolfspeed CEO Greg Lowe minutes after he made the announcement with the governor. We talked about how using the chips they make with silicon carbide will accelerate the transition to clean energy. If you have a car that's using silicon carbide, it will go 5 to 15 percent further than that same car with the same battery using silicon. And that's because silicon is inefficient. And the analogy I use is it's, it's almost like um, if you had a gasoline car that, uh, you know, you have your gas tank and you have your engine. And if you're using silicon in an electric car, it would be the equivalent to poking holes in your fuel line. And so the, the gasoline that you put in your gas tank, not all of it is getting to the engine. And that's the same thing with, with silicon in an electric car. If you use silicon, you got all kinds of holes and you're wasting energy. In silicon carbide, all of that energy gets to the, gets to the drivetrain. You're also able to charge faster. Silicon carbide can withstand a lot more energy, so you're able to charge a lot faster. In fact, I can recharge my car. I can add 300 miles of additional range in 20 minutes of charging at one of these fast charging locations. So pretty amazing stuff. Do you feel like the announcement today really put Wolf Speed on the map? You know, we've been on the map for in the, over the last 35 years quite a bit. I think what's happening is, is kind of a confluence of several different things. You've got the adoption of EVs, the importance of saving energy or using energy more efficiently, the, the importance of using greener and more renewable energies, and all of that points to a, a, an adoption rate of silicon carbide that I think is just going to have a tremendous tailwind effect through the end of this decade. It certainly has put us on the map from that perspective. You know, we are the world's largest producer of silicon carbide technology. We have about 60% share. And that's produced here in North Carolina on our site. And that factory is the largest factory in the world. And we just announced a factory that's 10 times bigger than that. <laughs> so Pretty amazing, isn't it? Lowe says the demand for these chips makes Wolf Speed recession proof. The decision to choose North Carolina came down to a billion dollars in incentives, a building site ready to go, and especially all the universities and colleges in our area. Construction will start Monday, and the facility should be open by 2024.